Wondering how to use Facebook Live Producer? It's great because it gives us way more tools than we used to have with the old Facebook Live interface, including the ability to share your screen. I'll show you all of that in this training. All right, let's get into it. Hey, hello, busy people. Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where I help time-strapped business owners get powerful social media results without the need for a big team, a giant budget, or having to post every single day. If that sounds like something you want in your business, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video, okay? My name, if we haven't met, is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with a boy wizard. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Facebook Live Producer for your Facebook Lives. In just a few minutes, you'll know how to use the Live Producer tool to go live on your Facebook business page, to your Facebook group, or to your Facebook personal profile. First thing to know is that Facebook Live Producer is a tool on the desktop computer. On your phone, you just go live from the Facebook app. So don't go looking for it anywhere on your phone. So from a business page, you would just come down here and it says create. And then I click live and it takes me into the interface. In your group, you would just go to the posting box. Depending on your setup, you might have to click the three dots here to get more. And then click live video. And then on your profile, again, it might say live video, or otherwise click in the posting box, the three dots, and then you should be able to get to live video that way. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be going through it on a business page, but it should look the same, at least for the most part, whether you're in a group or a profile as well. So first, the layout, go live now is the first option, followed by schedule a live video. So this is would be if you were gonna schedule a live video for later. And then if you've already scheduled something, then you can click on upcoming live videos and events, and you would see them here. Now you're also gonna see different options depending on what you have selected here under Get Started. It says use Stream Key, use Camera, or use Paired Encoder. Use Stream Key and use Paired Encoder both involve using third-party tools, and that's not what this tutorial is about. This is about doing it all right in Facebook Live Producer. And so I'm gonna click the Use Camera option and go through that way. As soon as you click Go Camera, you're gonna see this little preview of your webcam down in the corner there, hello. So back over on the left, the first thing you wanna check is where do you want to post? So even once you're in here, you could change and post to your timeline. That would be your profile or post to a group. By default, it will show wherever you happen to start the process. So in this case, post to a page you manage, and it's the five minute social media Jerry Potter page. Next, add a title to it. And then below that where it says, say something about this live video, this is essentially the caption of your post that you're writing. Below that is the option to cross post to more pages. There's a feature in Facebook business pages where you can have the same video appear on two different business pages and the views are cumulative. So if it was you and another company you were working with or two companies that you owned and each one got 5,000 views, the video would show as 10,000 views on both pages, which is kind of cool. You can do a search for more about cross posting with pages if you wanna learn more about that. Share to a pages groups. If I wanted to share this Facebook Live to my group when I go live, I can just open this up and check this box here. And then below that, you've got some audience settings. So you can come in and you can decide if you want to restrict by age. For example, here in the United States, it's very important if you're broadcasting about alcohol or anything like that, that you choose 21 plus. That's one of the fastest ways you can get your page or your ad account shut down is if you are intentionally going to younger people about things that is not that are not legal for them. And then you can also allow selected locations or restrict selected locations. And uh, you can add those here just by typing in whatever area you wanted to restrict. And then below that, if it's about gaming, you can actually add the title of the game, which might increase its discoverability if you're streaming for gaming. Tickets and events will be highlighted if you have an event coming up. And you can do things with that. Publish as a test broadcast. If I click on that, after you've checked that box, you can see down here, well, you can kind of see it's grayed out, but it says start test. And this is basically the ability, if you have a brand new setup and you want to test it so nobody else can see, but you want to check the microphone, the lighting, see how it all looks when you go live, you can push that. It's grayed out right now because I, after I clicked that, I lost all the information that I put in up here. So let's uncheck that because we're not doing a test broadcast, but it's good to be aware of. Now we come over to the center of the interface here. We've already selected use camera. Down here, a few things that you can check. End live video if stream stops. If you've got a poor internet connection, you can turn that off. And that means if your signal drops out when it regains, assuming that's you know pretty quickly, you can rejoin the live broadcast. Otherwise, it just ends if the stream stops. Embed the live video. This just means that you can embed it on other sites. 
Below that, an opportunity if you have a 360 or 180 video, basically one of those uh, 360 degree cameras, you can turn that on. And then unpublish after live video ends. If your plan is to go live and people need to join you live and they will not be able to see this later, rather than having to go back and delete it, you can just flip that on and it will just disappear as soon as the live video is over. Below that, we have viewing settings. And I really like this option, the ability to allow viewers to rewind. So if somebody comes into your video and you're already live, they can grab the scroll, scroll bar, at least when this worked properly, and go back to the beginning. Now, sometimes it can get confusing uh, in the comments when that happens, but it's nice for people to be able to do that because if you're, let's say you're 12 minutes into a 15 minute live and they're like, okay, I don't really know what they're talking about. Uh, I'll come back later. People are busy and odds are they won't. So this is nice when they can rewind. Auto-generated captions is exactly what it said. It will take what you're saying and print it on the screen. And it's not perfect, but it's pretty cool that that technology even exists. If you turn on allow viewers to message you, that means that people can send you a message through Messenger right from your live video. Next up is comments, and these are all things they've added to kind of protect people from trolls, especially when they're going live. And I'm glad Facebook added this stuff, and I'm guessing it's because there were a lot of people who refused to go live because they were worried about what people would say, mean things in the comments and things like that. So just real quick, if you turn on follower, it means only your followers can leave comments. Uh, slow means that people can only comment every 10 seconds. So that just basically means somebody can't bomb comments or use a bot to leave a bunch of spammy comments. Um, discussion, only comments over 100 characters will be shown. So that takes out little things like yay or an emoji or some things like that. If you have a live broadcast that gets a lot of comments, that can be a nice feature because it's easier for people to follow the discussion if the screen is not constantly updating like boom, 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 boom with a bunch of things that are not, you know, very long. Uh, restricted, this means that commenters must have accounts that are at least two weeks old. So again, somebody can't be new and spamming. And then protected means comments must have followed you for at least 15 minutes. So they can't comment if they're not uh, following you. They can't decide to follow you and then comment right away. Below that is Facebook stars. If your account is set up for monetization, then viewers can send you stars, which work out as money. And it's actually the equivalent of one cent US is how much money it is. So I assume for people that use these, they, you know, they hit it a bunch of times to send money. And obviously if you had millions of people, it could add up relatively quickly, but that's what that feature is there. Next column over here, you wanna make sure you have the webcam chosen that you wanna use. You wanna choose the microphone that you want. And then you'll see this screen share button here, which is great that you can do that if you wanna share your screen. But here's what you need to know is that using the Facebook Live producer tool, you can share your screen, but you can't turn it on and off during a broadcast the way you could during a Zoom call or in some third party tools like BeLive or StreamYard that I like to use for that. So it's there, but once you are sharing your screen, then you're just sharing your screen. A few other cool parts of this up across the top here, Graphics, and you'll see this if you click on it. If you're using the camera view, it doesn't really work. Facebook has created graphics for Facebook Lives, but you still need a third-party tool or software to go with it. But you can use polls. So you can create polls in here, put in options, and then you can display those on the screen as you're doing your Facebook Live. Questions, you can ask questions and then have them appear on the screen as well. And then feature link means you can actually have a link to something. Before we go live, one more thing to know, if you pre-schedule your video, there is a different setting. So I'm gonna come up here in the corner and do schedule a live video instead. But I can come in here and I can choose the date and the time. And then the other part that's added down here is you can select an image. So it will essentially take your Facebook page cover photo, as you can see here in the preview, or I can go in and upload a custom graphic or just a still photo, something that will look better, maybe capture more attention than the default cover photo. Then once you're ready to go live, you just hit this button down here, hit go live, and then it'll start counting it down. Once you're live, you can go back and forth between this screen where you can kind of control things or, and you see a little thumbnail in the corner down here, or you can scroll up and see yourself full screen and then the comments will appear over here on the left. Live videos are so powerful for your business, but of course you can't pre-schedule them. So let me see if I can help you save time on your social media in other ways. Grab this, six ways to cut your social media workload in half. Want it? All you gotta do is click the link right there on the screen, or if you don't see it there on your device, you'll find it in the description of this video. Thank you for supporting 5-Minute Social Media. Not only me, but you're also supporting my two tiny superheroes at home.